Number 44, integrated concepts. When starting a foot race, a 70 kilogram sprinter exerts an average force of 650 newtons backward on the ground for 0.8 seconds. What is his final speed? All right, let's first start with a free body diagram. So here's the diagram. The dot here will represent the runner. And let's assume that the runner uh, will be moving and accelerating to the right. Okay, you could choose to the left, it doesn't matter. Your values though will, should be the same magnitude, but it probably, probably will have uh, opposite signs. In any case, so now uh, it says he exerts an average force of 650 newtons backward on the ground. Okay, fine. So you might be tempted, remember, to draw the vector in this way, but that's not the way to draw it, assuming that I am talking about a force, excuse me, an acceleration moving to the right-hand direction. All right. So the thing is, though, that's the force, 650 newtons, that's the force exerted by the sprinter on the ground. That's not what I care about. What I care about is the, are the forces acting on the sprinter, not by the sprinter. So if the sprinter pushes backward on the ground at a value of 650 newtons, guess what the ground does? The ground pushes back on that sprinter with the same magnitude in the opposite direction, Newton's third law. Okay, so therefore, and that's the, that's the vector I'm interested in because that's the force that's going to be propelling him forward, right? He's pushing back on the ground, but the ground's pushing forward on him. Okay, so this is the 650 Newton force. All right, wonderful. It says that there is no, we don't see anything, uh, oh, I should label that A, right? Um, it, it also tells, it doesn't say anything about there's some drag forces, air resistance, frictional forces, nothing. So this is the only force I really know. Uh, so that's what I have to work off of, okay? So now, uh, why don't we try to find the acceleration? Why am I doing that? Well, look, they're asking for a final speed, right? And they're giving me a time. So I'm thinking to myself, well, where can I go from here, right? I just, know, I basically just know uh, the force, okay? And the mass. So I'm like, oh yeah, right. If I do some of the forces in the x direction equals max, and I plug in 650 for the some of the forces, because those are the only forces in the problem, or that is the only force in the problem, the mass of the sprinter is 70 kilograms. Look what I can do. I can solve for the acceleration. All right, so divide out the 70 from both sides. Divide out the 70 from both sides. So the acceleration then in the x direction, and look, it is positive. That's what we expected it to be, given how I framed the problem. It's 9.29, so 9.29 meters per second squared. That's the acceleration. Now that's wonderful. They tell us that this occurs for eight seconds. Well, that has nothing to do with this part of the problem, but it has everything to do with speed because if you're accelerating at 9.29 meters per second per second, well, then your velocity will depend on how long you're accelerating at that rate for, okay? So there's the acceleration. We do know the time, so what I'll do here is I'll start changing the colors. All right, so we do know the time. Uh, that was 0 0.800 seconds. We do know that uh, this sprinter started from, uh, he started a race, right? So the initial velocity we have to assume is zero, okay? And what else? We're looking for the final speed. So here's how they connect. Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna box these in. How are these variables related? What's the kinematics equation? Well, it's this, final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus acceleration times time. So the final velocity is what we're looking for. The initial velocity was zero. The acceleration was 0 0.8, nope, excuse me, was 9.29 meters per second squared and the time was 0 0.800. So easy enough, easy peasy here. So 9.29 times 0 0.8. So this is great, 7.43. So we get 7.43 and that is meters per second. Wunderbar, right? Now what we can do, so we found the final velocity. That's his final speed. Now what's the next part? He says, how far does he travel? That's not hard at all, right? This is just all kinematics now. So now I'm going to look for time. How can I do that? Well, you can choose a couple of formulas here. I would try to shy away from one with the final velocity in it because you know what? Maybe you calculated it wrong. And now if this is wrong, you don't want the error to propagate now into your time, okay? But you could have calculated this wrong, right? But, and that'll propagate. But again, you know, I'm lowering the probability. I have two calculations here. The probability that I get both of them wrong really depends on if I get this one wrong, right? 
because this influenced now my calculation here. All right, so it really all harps on this. So I, I actually would go back and double check that, uh, but I'm positive that that's the answer. So, um, all right, so how far does he travel not to lament this anymore? Um, I don't know why I wrote time down here. That is not, that we do know. So I got carried away. Uh, what we are looking for is the displacement, right, in terms of x. So now we just got to think of a formula that we need that relates to known variables. So we can choose this one, right? The display, uh, change in displacement is equal to the initial velocity times time plus one half of the acceleration times time squared. So the displacement will be equal to this whole thing goes to zero because the initial velocity is zero. So therefore, it's one half of the acceleration of 9.29 meters per second squared multiplied by the time of 0 0.800 squared. So this is easy, just plug it into the calculator. So 0.5 times 9.29 times 0.8 squared. And would you look at that? 2.97, and that is meters. And that is how far. All right, not too bad, guys. Easy peasy. What else is easy peasy is hitting that subscribe button. All right, that would be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, take care.